Hello YouTubers, it is 731-2016. Vote, 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 vote. This is my new um, website, still under construction somewhat. I have to get a P.O. box for any donations that might be sent for the benefit of my campaign. Uh, okay, uh, Carol Bohannon for President 2016. And I love this concept because I am for the people and the woman that set this up, she did a great job, I think. And anyway, I have, this is a message to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I have some questions for you both. It's apparent you deem me a threat that you would bully me out of the mainstream national news or is that tactic another secret withheld from we the people the unspoken pact with the media to oppress another opponent from reaching the people are you both so scared that I might possibly win when the people hear my agenda could it actually be that the people of this great nation may be so fed up as I have been with the rhetoric the outright falsehoods being perpetrated through the People's White House, which literally should be called the Brown House for all the malarkey that's floating in and around D.C. Could it be that I'm such a threat that I was paid to a visit in an attempt to instill fear after all uh, you had been notified with well wishes and that I was running for president too. Could it be you're both afraid to address the real honest to goodness issues which are on the majority of the people's minds but because of some fictitious national security malarkey shroud they won't be or cannot be discussed? Here are just a few which are not conspiracy theories. Chemtrails, Fukushima Daiichi, its sister plant, Fukushima Denai, CERN, what's its real purpose? FEMA camps, the black coffins dotting our countrysides in remote areas. Why are the nuclear plants continually relicensed when they are 20 to 30 years beyond their life expectancy? HARP being used for weather modification, causing droughts which equates into food shortages. Why does the NDAA give the president the power to drone strike and kill an American and details, uh, uh, detain rather without trial? Why is it that everything per pertaining to producing and providing the people good, clean, wholesome, nutritious food seems to be an impossible task for the FDA. Why does it take so many um, ingredients to make a simple loaf of bread? Why is corn syrup in everything? Why is the cellulose a known wood pulp in our foods? Or as zodiocarbonamide, a known carcinogenic cancer-causing ingredient being put in our foods? Why is it there are so many unpronounceable ingredients in our foods? Why is everything pasteurized, which kills all the nutrients? Why is it our children are fed chicken nuggets made in flavored, flavor enhancements to taste good when it's nothing more than ground up chicken skin and fat? Why is it that the people are so overweight in our country? I'll answer that for you both. Because our food has no nutrients, no vitamins. It doesn't even have flavor. It's bland and tasteless. And the people are consuming more and more because they are literally starving to death. Why is it Wi-Fi is in our schools harming our children? Smart meters attached to our homes, all which affects our brains and our hearts and causes known health problems. Why is it the sun no longer comes up in the true east or sets in the true west? Why is it the government feels the need to be up in every aspect of our lives to data mine, indoctrinate, propagate and fumigate us whereas we feel some uh, where 
we feel we've we're some health experiment to shorten our lives. Genealogy has shown that you and Hillary Clinton, uh, Donald Trump, are 15th or 16th cousins. Isn't that a fact? I hear tell Obama is not the first black president and that there were seven or eight black presidents before George Washington. And so why has our history been nothing but lies? And if, if matters of such importance has been stymied and cloaked from the people, what else has been? I speculate the enormity of numerous horrors of truth that has been suppressed from we the people if not for the demise of the people's health and well-being, then why did Preston uh, or Prescott Bush, Nelson Rockefeller, and I.G. Farben create fertilizer not for the good of the people's health, but to facilitate its decline in order to cause illness and disease in which to feed big pharma profits in their pills and concoctions, much like the witch doctors of old, wherein the fertilizer depletes the soil of its natural nutrient organic sulfur, which supplies four of the most critical amino uh, acids for cell growth. Why has media oppressed my ability to reach the people? Because both you, Donald Trump, and, and Hillary Clinton are putting on a show, playing out the story role as if your audience didn't know the truth behind the malarkey, the proverbial curtain. Game over. There is a new child in the sandbox. I'm not here to play, but to right all the wrong put upon the people. I would bring our military home from anywhere that is not our territory or are at bases for the protection of our actual safety, not guarding poppy fields for big pharma. Why are our military members and families seeking food stamps to sustain themselves, give, give them a sustainable living wage? Why is it taking months on end for our injured military to go through red tape malarkey to receive the medical care they need for the injuries they have sustained? Why are our military members repeatedly seeking to go back to war over and over again because they've been there too long and they feel more comfortable in the scenario rather than getting back into a normal role in society? War is profitable for the elite. It's time to bring them home. We the people have grown weary of war and rumors of war. What has always been needs to stop. No more war unless it's actually defending our soil and our territories. Our military answered the call and I commend them one and all. And they deserve our best as a nation, fed the best and the best medical care available. Why don't you both debate me over the real issues facing we, the people of this, our land? The gun control issue needs to stop. It's a most, it's a moot point and shall never happen regardless of what is done in Washington, what has been deemed by myself and others the district of criminals. The UN needs to get off our soil. Are either of you going to uphold the Constitution? You know that document that this country was founded on? Why has a self-pronounced population reducer, Bill Gates, doing his eugenics upon mankind, who gives him such power? Agenda 21. Since he is so intent to do so, he should offer himself and his family up for destruction for the sake of humanity. He and they should be the first in line. The people should take control of the government that has run amok and gone rogue. The senseless vaccines need to stop. And every doctor, nurse, school official, government entity that mandates them for the nation should be made to sign a document attesting to its benefits and that they guarantee 
guarantee they will cause no harm. I am Carol Bohannon, C-A-R-O-L. B-O-H-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N. I'm running for president to do the for the people of this great nation. A representative of the people for the people. I am a nonpartisan. I am a believer in the Father and the Son, affiliated with no religion. In my view, as well as experience, they were formed for the division of mankind. Addressing the gay question the other day in a news interview... Although I am heterosexual and my viewpoint is derived from scripture, it is not for me to judge, nor do I. That is between them and the Father and no one else. What happens in people's homes is of a private matter, and government needs to get out of the bedrooms of the people. It's none of their business, and there are certainly greater issues our nation faces other than who's sleeping with whom. All right, I ask for y'all's vote. I'm a write-in. I am not going to be on the ballot because I don't have billions of dollars as Hillary Clinton and uh, Donald Trump has. I can't buy the presidency, which is what I feel that's going on in politics and always has. If you had the money, you get out there and play your little puppet show, then you get to be the president. And they're all related. I am emphatically telling you right now, I'm not related to any of them. Okay? I'm not a relation of Hillary Clinton nor Donald J. Trump. So vote for me, folks. Write my name in, Carol Bohannon, C-A-R-O-L-B-O-H-A-N-N-O-N. I am for the people, of the people, and I hope you'll send me as your representative by the people. Thank you so much, Carol.